Nicodemus was a Pharisee and follower of Jesus mentioned in the Gospel of John. He is mentioned in John chapters 3, 7, and 19. He is associated with being born again and takes Jesus' body from the cross to give him a funeral. So who was Nicodemus? Often we think of Pharisees as villains, but Nicodemus is clearly associated with something other than villainy throughout the Gospel. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, and we should remember that the Pharisees were a sect of Jewish spiritual leaders who believed in a bodily resurrection, and they had some amount of popularity with the masses. Now, Nicodemus was also a member of the Sanhedrin, which were a group of rabbis serving in tribunals. One should think of the Sanhedrin in terms of a court system. Understanding that Nicodemus was not only a religious leader, but he was also part of the courts, is important to understanding his transformation into a follower of Christ. Knowing these details allows us to see the context in which Nicodemus is operating. When Nicodemus first appears in chapter 3, he seeks Jesus out in the night. And it is important to note that Jesus does not address Nicodemus by a group identity, but instead as an individual. Nicodemus appears again in chapter 7, where the Jewish leaders want to assign guilt to Jesus without a trial. And Nicodemus challenges them in saying that it is improper for them to judge Jesus without first giving him a hearing. In chapter 19, Nicodemus appears again along with Joseph of Arimathea, who come to collect Jesus' body after Christ has died on the cross. They do not realize at this point that Jesus is going to resurrect from the dead. None of the twelve are found here, but instead, the disciples who come to bury Jesus are Nicodemus, Joseph of Arimathea, Mary Magdalene, another Mary, and possibly some other female followers of Christ. 